In other local news, we're learning a lot more about a shooting inside a busy Southwest Miami-Dade Walmart. A 16-year-old arrested. Police say he got into an argument with another teen and opened fire. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live with more on this. Roy. Louie and Miami-Dade police say that both the shooter and the victim were at one point in their lives friends. It's right here at this Walmart where the two got into some sort of an argument and began shooting at each other. Unfortunately, one of those teens would lose his life. The other is now behind bars. It wasn't just like a round fire, da, 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 da. It was like, da, da, da. Die. Witnesses describing the sound of gunfire that rang out inside of this Walmart off US 1 and Southwest 211th Street Tuesday. As I'm running out, I'm going like this to let people know and then cars start rushing out. Erica Pozo tells me she was eating near the store's entrance when from one second to the next, she and hundreds of other shoppers started running for cover. I dropped my sub, I ran like hell, got to the parking garage. The people around me told me to get down and duck behind cars. Miami-Dade police said it was just after 3 in the afternoon when 16-year-old Malachi Ali walked into the department store and bumped into the victim. The two then got into an argument when relatives say 19-year-old Noah Perez, who was with his child and his mother, was shot. She said that it was inside the store and three people came and ambushed him. While Perez was taken to the hospital, he ultimately died from his injuries. He was very loving. He was, you know, a family guy. Roy Ramos, Local 10. I went to the home of the alleged shooter who was arrested to find out why he would open fire on the teen who detective said was once his friend. While Malachi's mother wouldn't come outside, she believes her son was defending himself. They threatened Malachi. They threatened to kill Malachi on several occasions. That's the only one thing. And Malachi Allah does face a number of charges that include second degree murder. At some point, he is expected to face a judge in juvenile court. We will be there for that and let you know what happens. For now, here in Southwest Miami-Dade, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.